Hi, Nate. I was able to get this extra information about the Zelda 35th anniversary. Signed, Samus Hunter. Let's go. All right, folks. Obviously, we're talking about some brand new rumors about the Zelda 35th anniversary coming directly from Samus Hunter, who messaged me late last night again, or I should say early this morning around 2 a.m. And of course, I told her, thanks for the information. I don't know why I was still awake, but I will cover it in the morning. She tends to always do this, send me information in the middle of the night. Uh, so let's just read off what she said because it is exciting anytime someone says hey we have some legit uh stuff about the zelda 35th anniversary i want to tell you about it so you can make a video let's just get into it i gotta say though uh this stuff isn't necessarily major if you're hoping for confirmation for ocarina of time hd majora's mass hd twilight princess hd wind waker hd if you're looking for stuff like that probably not gonna get that here uh, but we will talk about some of the prior stuff that Samus Hunter has said, uh, and then we'll get into this stuff. So actually, let's get into the new first, and then we'll get into the old and kind of encapsulate everything that she says we are getting for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So let me read this off. It says, hi, Nate. I was able to get a little extra information about the Zelda 35th anniversary. I talked in the past about the Animal Crossing New Horizons, uh, adding additional content for that, the Tetris slash Pac-Man 99 style um, potential game we're going to get, uh, events dedicated to the series, uh, but these are all titles co-developed by Nintendo, so that's obviously all things that has to do with Nintendo. But I can confirm that they are planning some promotions with third-party games. For example, Monster Hunter Rise with armor and weapons dedicated to the series with new missions that add new monster variations. So a big update for Rise coming that's not only going to have Zelda armor and weapons and stuff, there's going to be new variations of monsters and quests themed to the legend of freaking Zelda. That's awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if like in Monster Hunter Rise if you had to take out Valu? You guys remember Valu from The Wind Waker? Stuff like that. Wouldn't that be really cool if you had to take something like that out? Obviously, there's other things they could draw upon. Can you imagine taking out a Lionel? A Lionel in Monster Hunter Rise would be sick. I, at least in my opinion. I think that would be really cool. Especially if it's an extremely difficult enemy shooting lightning at you. Oh my gosh. It would be, be so cool. All right. So that's Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, and it says... Uh, another game I heard that will get some Zelda themed items is Sky Children of the Light developed by that game company and it will likely be shown at E3 given the release window now I don't know what she means by that I'm presuming that this means a content added in June or July uh, to this Sky Children of the Light game uh, but again she's just expecting E3 because of the release window on that uh, if you're wondering what else she previously said on the 35th anniversary, oh boy, uh, let's just jump right into this. Um, so uh, it says, uh, before she said, you know, the updates I've already mentioned could uh, give you some details about Zelda's anniversary and plans. Reading on the internet, some people were disappointed that Nintendo never mentioned the 35th anniversary of Zelda. Don't worry, it's normal. Uh, until March uh, 31st, there was a Mario anniversary, and the plans for the promotion will primarily start in June at the E3 period. Skyward Sword is a title that was chosen because it's the beginning of the series. Nintendo wanted to introduce to new fans of the series the origin of some characters. Uh, so objects and consequences of the story for this reason it was given priority and not Wind Waker or Twilight Princess although they're already remastered so we talked about before how that potentially means there's a link between Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild since they're emphasizing it uh, but that was just um, some stuff we talked about last week um, in addition to the new stuff, uh, this is what we talked about before for Zelda 35th. Uh, there's going to be uh, a sequel to Breath of the Wild, obviously Skyward Sword HD, DLC for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Animal Crossing Furniture, and other game events like the Tetris 99, Smash, Amiibo, and Merchandise. Obviously, we already got one Amiibo. Maybe we'll get more Amiibo, but we got the Skyward Sword HD Amiibo. So all of this is very exciting stuff. And Samus Hunter uh, just keeps getting things correct. She got, uh, obviously, the Amiibo correct. Uh, she recently got some stuff uh, correct with 
Um, oh gosh, I can't remember what it was. The armor set coming to uh, Age of Calamity. She was the only one out there uh, showing off that we were going to get the ancient armor set added to Age of Calamity. Uh, so, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff starting the lineup that Samus Hunter continues to get right. Some people at this point, I know Game Over Jesse as an example, no longer considers Samus Hunter worthy of calling rumors at this point. Uh, he considers her a legit insider. And I gotta say, uh, she has gotten so many things right, I find it hard to argue with that. The only reason I'm personally holding back from calling Samus Hunter uh, a legit insider is because she's got some big ticket items I want to see her get correct. So a lot of the stuff she tends to get correct are smaller in nature or more generalized statements that you can argue other people can make. However, she did has I this part I do know she has gotten very specific things right about Monster Hunter games in the past, making me suggest maybe she's got a connection at Capcom or something. But here's my thing: she's got some big ticket items. Virtual console, yeah, that's kind of a a, a big one there. Uh, the whole virtual console thing that she posted about back in October of last year. That's a big one. Can't ignore that. Two Kirby games this year? Um, yeah, no one else is talking about two Kirby games this year. It wouldn't be surprising to get a Kirby game, but two of them? Okay, that's a pretty big deal. She also has some exact details about the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC that, hey, we don't actually know for sure yet. Because despite giving us more information on the DLC, we still are lacking information on the DLC. Now, I fully expect the first DLC pack to get blown out at E3, and then we'll know if it lines up with Samus Hunter's claims about the Robbie and Pura stuff, but it's looking likely, at least based on the initial stuff talked about with the name of the DLC pack anyways. Now, beyond all of that, she's got other big ticket items floating out there as well. Uh, several people have a Donkey Kong game floating out there, including her. She was the first person to put out there a Donkey Kong game was coming, and then everyone else kind of followed suit. So that's a big one that's floating out there right now as well. Uh, so yeah, there's just some bigger ticket items that she has floating out there that we need to see come true before I'll just fully buy in that Samus Hunter is who she appears to be, and that is somebody who clearly has a connection to Nintendo. I think at this point, if this stuff is correct, especially that virtual console thing, um, yeah, it doesn't get much more insider information than that. So I'm actually interested what you guys want to see happen for the Zelda 35th anniversary. It's obviously something we have talked about um, consistently over the last month or so. Uh, do you think we're going to get Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask HD? Uh, do you think Breath of the Wild 2 is going to come out this year, next year? Do you think we are going to get like a Zelda 99, Zelda 35 kind of game? And what kind of game is it going to be? Is it going to be like a dungeon runner? Uh, is it going to be like, a link to, you know, I, I, I don't know, like running side-scrolling stuff through Zelda 2? I'm very curious what you think that's going to be. Is it going to be all about Zelda 1 even? I have no idea. Is it going to be like a multiplayer mayhem fest? I have no clue. This is the fun part, is that we don't know everything. So we got rumors, we got our speculation. Next up, we just got to know what the hell is happening. So I am Nathaniel Robodance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in to this special morning edition video. Uh, and we probably got plenty more coming for you as the day goes on. So I will catch you guys in the next video.